Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have seen how we can set up the Prometheus uh, MCP server. So in this video, which is very related to the Prometheus, is a Grafana MCP server that we'll try to set up using the Cloud Desktop. So what I will do simply, first of all, we have to run the Grafana. So I'll go to this. Uh, so I'm in the uh, uh, Docker Desktop, and here it's a terminal. I'll just uh, use this uh, Grafana docker command paste over here so it's a docker run and then uh, it will be in a port 3000 and simply a grafana and this image is grafana so let's see so it will start installing i'll pause the video so our grafana server is running so let's uh, go to this browser and run into 3000 and Grafana server is running so just put a simple admin admin as a default okay and I just skip this part and I'm here in a dashboard what I will do is simply go to this administration and go to the user and uh, click on a service account or either you can um, create a user as well let's see the user new user um user 001 anything user at the example.com i simply say 001 and again yeah and any any password you can put okay Let's create a user I'll also create a service account because we required a service account uh, for the Grafana MCP server. So I'll just simply say a service account 001 and role I'll put an admin so that it can do a function. Um, I'll create this add service account token because we required that. Then the token just copy this and paste somewhere in you know, our secret places. Okay, and I'll close it. Okay. And in the dashboard, we do not have any sort of uh, things, connection and data source. So let's add the data source and I'll add this Prometheus. Okay. And this should be enough. Everything look good. Now let's go to this again data source and we do have the data source. Okay, okay, fine. Now we, we need to configure this uh, uh, MCP server. So what I'll do is simply, I'll append the M MCP server over here. Uh, so Prometheus and Grafana together here if you can see now Prometheus and now we have a Grafana Okay, so again, it is a pretty much similar to that and here uh, We added the network host just to you know um, It can connect the similar to this here previously so it can go to this local host and Grafana you are a local host and here this uh, API key if you remember we have um, saved uh, generated the new token we just need to update this token over here. All right, that's so simple. Again, nothing. It's pretty much similar to Prometheus that we have already seen. And here there are certain things like Grafana URL, Grafana API key. You are passing as environment variable. This is an image name, and you can see MCP Grafana. Okay, looks pretty okay. So now uh, if we go to the task manager and you can see if any Cloud desktop is not running. So now let us uh, Try to run this cloud desktop And I click over here Okay, so now It's running now if we check this docker desktop, then we have a three two additional um, Images which are running and if you see that is it if we go to this image you can set mcp grafana grafana and this is a prometheus MC. okay now let's so let's see that uh, in the tool section and it says prometheus is also there all the tools and then the grafana is also available okay and grafana also include because we have pointing uh, pointed to prometheus so it will also include this prometheus related queries as well so now let us we already seen the prometheus query so now let us try to first of all check a, a list of um, teams 
we already created right we didn't create any team so now let us create the team in fact um team team 001 and team at the rest test.com okay create a team okay uh so now let us uh try to list of teams um in grafana even if you don't put they should be okay okay so team 001 is there okay so now what i will do is simply um list of users let's see allowance Okay, does not allow us to do these things. Okay, fine. Um, because it it may require some sort of a security issue. Uh, just to focus on on call. On call. Okay, fine. Um, list of data sources which are available. Let's try that. Okay, so currently it is showing the data source from which this is available. Okay, if we add this uh, new data source, it will also show there. So currently there is no dashboard over here. What I will do, I'll just ask and try whether it's working or not. Create a dashboard uh, for Spring Boot application for Prometheus. For JVM matrix only. So let's see. Say low ones. So it is trying to fix the error that it got. Okay, so it has perfect. I have successfully created the Spring Boot JVM metric dashboard on Prometheus. Okay, um, dashboard included for key. So let let's check actually whether seriously it has done or not. Let me refresh this URL and check. Okay, so it has created a new dashboard and let's see. Currently, because we do not have data, but it has created. We required a more uh, sort of a tuning and all. And we need to uh, do some sort of uh, query over there so that we can have some more data. All right, because we have just run the Spring Boot application long time. I mean, like uh, two, three hours, and we have not done anything. All right, so that's how we can uh, add the Grafana MCP server on the Spring Boot application. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.